Alrighty, everyone, welcome back. I hope you're all having an amazing weekend so far. Ever since The Mandalorian Season 3 debuted on Disney+, Plus, ending with the grand finale, a lot of fans have, you know, had a lot of mixed reactions based on Mando Season 3. It almost comes across like the majority of fans were very well upset with the direction of Mando Season 3. As you all know, Kathleen Kennedy had a large hand in the script, but not during principal photography. Just let's make that very clear f for the fans out there. Even Jon Favreau came out and, you know, really put that forward out there that, yeah, Kathleen Kennedy was involved with the script, but not necessarily during the filming stage. This is Mike Zero. Subscribe if you're new and like this video to see future Star Wars updates. I'm also on Twitter at MikeZero1. I thank you also very much for the great and kind support. So there's a lot of things going on between George, John, Dave, and exactly where they are going to go about doing things when it comes to really, at, at, you know, creating live action adaptations of Star Wars Legends and really kind of implementing that into the shows and the movies and whatnot. So they have a lot of things on their plate, but one thing in particular that I think a lot of fans are truly going to enjoy have a lot to do with John and Dave's treatments of exactly how they are going to respect Luke Skywalker in the upcoming Star Wars material that's going to be a big deal for Disney+, Plus, for the future of the Star Wars franchise, and a whole lot more related to all of that. So let's dive right into exactly what this really means and exactly what's coming our way in the years to come. Now, as you all know, Luke is going to be a main focus. We talked about this for Mando Season 4, Ahsoka Season 2. As far as Season 1 of Ahsoka, there's very few storyboards that we actually discussed about that, and Mark Hamill signed his signature on the set, so it's very possible that we will be getting him in the first season. But moving on. With John and Dave already working on a brand new project that is set to focus on reviving Star Wars Legends in a very big way, one of the big plans by Lucasfilm right now is to do a full-on recast of Luke Skywalker for Project Jedi Knight. The Jedi Knight series is set to be an anthology show, consisting of 10 whole episodes focusing on Luke Skywalker and the new generation of Jedi, including Kyle Katarn to enter into the picture. Now further, it's noted that one of the stories for Jedi Knight is set to not only recast Luke Skywalker, but is also set to focus on one of the Luke Skywalker students, and that's going to be considered his best Jedi student, Kyle Katarn. That Lucasfilm is now aiming to cast actor Andrew Lincoln of The Walking Dead to take that role. Now, though in Legends he was a self-taught Jedi, John and Dave are preparing to keep that true while also having Luke teaching him a couple of lessons here and there. The Jedi Knight series is set to focus on the completion of Luke's Jedi temples, plural, one on Ossus and the other of which on Yavin 4. This is so that John and Dave can create a balance for what fans love in Legends and for what fans enjoy in the Disney canon. So let me just pause here quickly before I get to the next big piece about all of this is that what I'm happy about is the casting decision that John and Dave have currently in mind for Kyle Katarn. Now, when you look at Kyle Katarn in Legends, you know, it really makes you wonder, is Andrew Lincoln really the best fit? I would go as far to say as yes, and maybe even the only fit for Kyle Katarn, as far as I can tell right now. You know, I think that he is a very you know, um, very, you know, well-established actor, given that he's so very well invested with the Walking Dead franchise, and a lot of fans of the Walking Dead would probably, you know, tune in to the Jedi Knight series just because of that. And so I can see how John and Dave, you know, have this strategy to create new characters, but to use familiar faces of specific actors and actresses to kind of promote those characters. And it's a very interesting strategy, you know? I know the answer isn't always to use, you know, a well-known actor just to, you know, boost recognition. But in this case, I think it could really work because I think Andrew would be a great fit for Kyle Katarn. So good on John and Dave for brainstorming that idea to cast him as the character. Again, Jedi Knight is still in the notes phase. They want to begin writing the script by the end of this year to get this thing out eventually by 2026. Now, we know that there's a lot of things happening between the Disney Star Wars universe and exactly what Disney executives are expecting out of all of the upcoming shows and films. 
So the next thing here that I think is very promising is Lucasfilm's plan is to tell two New Jedi Order era stories in the canon. One that is post Return of the Jedi and one that is post Episode 9 that will feature Rey in her own film and own series, Strictly. Actor Mark Hamill is set to return to the role of Luke Skywalker again where he will be using ILM's new revolutionary technology that is going to combine the strategies of both de-aging tech and deepfake tech. Now, Andrew Lincoln has already expressed great interest in taking up the role for Kyle Katarn for the Jedi Knight series that is not just a Luke-focused show, but also focusing on his students, both from Ossus and Yavin 4. This is a series that has been in development for a long time now, and they are aiming to get this released by 2026 on Disney+, Plus, with having a very high budget to give it a movie-esque feel, and will also serve as a setup to Dave Filoni's Star Wars movie, also in the same exact year that's currently planned. Now again, about Dave Filoni's movie, that's their aim, that's their goal, to get it out by 2026. Do I think it'll make it that year? Who knows, right? That all is a very dependent on scheduling, uh, if there's going to be no uh, you know, setbacks or anything like that. We know that everything related to the franchise is that you have to be very careful. And we know that John and Dave feel like they're walking on eggshells right now, so they need to really take the proper steps to making this right and making sure that it's going to be a very well-told story with great character development. But moving on to the next thing here, we know that Luke is being slowly established into the lore. John and Dave specifically told us, the fans, a couple of days ago, they never intended to bring Luke back in Season 3, and this makes a lot of sense because this is why we haven't really heard much about that, we haven't been talking about Luke returning in Season 3. For Season 4, yes. For Ahsoka Season 2, absolutely as well. Uh, but like I said earlier, Ahsoka Season 1, we haven't really heard all that much, uh, apart from Mark Hamill signing a signature on set and maybe a storyboard or two of how Luke met Ahsoka. So it's very likely that we will be getting one very small cameo of Luke in the Ahsoka series, similar to how he was established in the Mando Season 2 finale. So overall, uh, apart from all of this, we know that there is a lot of thought going into really kind of acquiring legends and how Yavin 4 is going to be another Jedi temple that belongs to Luke, while also Asus is going to be considered a secret Jedi training school. And if you guys know the lore, Luke kept this a secret from everybody except for his family, like his sister Leia, and even, of course, his, you know, longtime friend Han Solo. You know, other than that, nobody really knew about Luke's Jedi Temple in the canon. Of course, that could be shifted around and changed by John and Dave, but Jedi Knight sounds like a very promising show. We've been talking about this for well over a year. It's been a thing that has been on and off, and now it's finally moving ahead given that John and Dave really want to explore the new Jedi Order before Rey's new Jedi Order. So guys, fill me in below in the comments what you all have to say about this. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel, and I will catch you guys next time. <laughs>